The new updated 2019-20 NBA title odds is going to shock a lot of people, including myself. When I looked at these, and of course, uh, these are the sports book, and they're off of analysts, people that really know basketball, and the odds are pretty accurate every year. Kawhi Leonard going to the Clippers made them favorite to win the NBA championship. Wow. The link for this article will be in the description. So, according to Sporting News, NBA championship odds 2020, the Clippers become title favorites with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. Now, we all know about that trade. Uh, Leonard and George will be playing with the Clippers next season. The Clippers are now the offseason favorites to win it all in 2020. They're listed from 2-1 to one to 3-1 to one in a small sample of new future lines so let's check this out real quick so you have the clippers and the lakers the top two teams as far as winning the title so let's talk about that the clippers never won a championship the lakers have 16 banners and we never have seen a Clippers Lakers team like we have now. And for the first time, we might be talking about the Western Conference Championship <laughs> being held in the Staples Centers at both home team court, which would be great, in my opinion. It wouldn't get no better. So LA wins regardless if this happens. <laughs> the city of Los Angeles, yeah. Home team. So. And then the Bucks, they're number three favorite to win. Of course, we saw what they did last year. Uh, it will be a completely different Eastern Conference with Kawhi being um, in the Western Conference now, so the Bucks' chances kind of skyrocketed. And then the 76ers, and <laughs> look at the look at the change to the Golden State Warriors. It's like they went from being number one to being top six or five. It's crazy, isn't it? And though we don't really know what Golden State team we would see this year. That's how quick in the NBA of today you become the greatest thing. Like the Warriors were the closest thing to a dynasty we have seen since Kobe and Shaq with the Lakers. So it's, or Tim Duncan, and David Robinson with the Spurs, like they had that tight team. It just was, it's gone. Like that shit is over, man. And it's just sad that they seem like the band is banded overnight. It's crazy. If you really just think about it, Durant's gone. Oh man, everybody's just cousins gone. It's just like clays out with the ACL. Steph Curry got them problems this year. So, um, the Jazz, they're also mentioned as a favorite and as well as the Rockets. But what type of Rockets team will we see? And what type of Jazz team would you see? But it's just crazy how the 76ers is better than the Warriors. It's for its odds. And the Raptors <laughs> are not even the, the champions are not even in the top five. Are you trying to tell me that Kawhi Leonard is the face of the NBA? Because wherever he goes, it the balance completely ships. He brought a Clipper team that wasn't even considered a championship team last year. They were considered a playoff team. At best number four or five seed to win the championship. What type of player is Kawhi Leonard, people, to you guys? Is he that great? They're giving Kawhi this Jordan Kobe status right now. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? But we shall see. Like this video, leave your comments, and subscribe later.